Hey guys, this week in Art Club with Miss Burford, we'll be creating a goldfish oil pastel picture. You will need oil pastels, a sheet of card, a pencil, baby oil and cotton buds. To start with, either draw a full circle, a semicircle or a quarter of a circle like I am here in one of the top corners of your page. This is going to start as the base of your lily pad and then I decided to add one in the bottom right hand corner a similar shape so again about a quarter of a lily pad but I did add another one a bit later on at a smaller size just to give some difference between lily pads because they're not all the same size and then I added this v-shape within the circle which you'll notice that lily pads do have Moving on to our main subject, our goldfish, I searched for a picture online which I'm drawing from for reference. So I drew like a sausage shape which gets a little bit narrower at the top corner, or top end, it hasn't got a corner. And then I added some ovals on the side for eyes. And then I really used my reference picture to study how I was going to draw the fan tail of this um, goldfish, I was about to say jellyfish, I don't know why. Um, but I looked at what areas I needed to draw for me to work out what shape this tail is going to be. As you can see, I started off with a spiky part to the tail, which was quite short to start with. And then I extended this out into these free flowing lines, which forms part of the goldfish fan tail. Next, I worked on the shape of the fins just very lightly. They're like a semicircle shape. And then I added another smaller lily pad down at the bottom of my page to fill in that gap. I sketched out very lightly where the veins on the lily pads were going to be as these will be darker areas compared to the rest of the green of the lily pad. Now we're moving on to the most difficult part of this picture which is working out what colours you'll need and where they're going to go on your fish, how you're going to make them work. So I really studied what colours I could see. I tried to simplify it a little bit, um, but I could see a lot of oranges, reds, yellows. I could even see a bit of blue in the tail from where you could see the background of the water through the transparency of the tail. Just map out where you can see these colours. So I started with the orange and then moved on to the next few colours. If you look at the tail, I'm not using blocks of colour, I'm literally just using my oil pastel to create lines following that flow of the fantail shape. Believe it or not, you are going to use a white oil pastel on white card uh, for the white areas of this picture because it will make a difference when it comes to what we do at the end. For now, you won't be able to see it very much, but just do your best to draw where the white areas are. Keep repeating that technique of drawing lines rather than block colour where the colour fades out to a more transparent colour and use the white to blend this colour out then. So pull on that colour and drag it out and it will fade out into the white colour as you'll be able to see on the screen. And build up colour where you can see more than one colour there. So I was seeing a lot of areas having orange and red tones to them so I tried to build that colour into one another. As I mentioned earlier, I could see a blue colour that I thought was glowing around the edge of the tail and the fins. So I just, again, just drew a simple line and used the white to blend this into the orange and red colours of the rest of the tail and fins. I kept going back and using the white pastel to really blend the blue, oranges and reds together in those areas where I thought it looked quite translucent, not completely transparent, but translucent. And you can see it really worked well to bring those colours together. After finishing the more translucent parts like the fins and the tail of the body, I then moved on to the main part of the body which is more opaque. This meant adding more blocks of colour rather than lines of colour in different shades of red and orange, then leaving a section at the top where I added some white oil pastel for the highlight earlier. I used a black oil pastel to add some scales on the side of the body, 
and then used a white oil pastel to blend these out so that it didn't have such a harsh edge. Then finish the fish by adding some eyes, again with black oil pastel and whatever other colours I could see. The fish complete, you can move on to the lily pad so you'll want a dark green for the edge and the veins of the lily pads. And then filling in between the dark lines using a light green oil pastel. You can leave some white areas because you can add white oil pastel this, to this in a moment and this can be highlights. Just use the white oil pastel like you did earlier, blending some of the green out and leaving some areas completely white. And using one blue oil pastel of your choice, ideally to match the colour of the water of the pond, use this to fill in the whole of the background around the fish and the lily pads. Fill in those V shapes and just leave like a little halo effect around the tail and the fins. So you've got a little white area to blend out to in a moment. Now for the part that really finishes off this picture, pour some baby oil into a pot or I've just poured it into the lid. Dip your cotton bud into some baby oil and use it on the lily pads first. You need to keep it to the same colour, so on the green sections first. If you notice, I start by going over the white parts of the pastel, rubbing it on there and rubbing it in the same direction that I coloured in. So you want to blend that white and that green together and then the darker edge, you want to try and soften that. So blend the light green out to the uh, dark green on those areas as well. Keep topping up the baby oil probably about every 15 to 20 seconds. You don't want to overload the picture with baby oil though either. So this is where the kids will learn, wait until it starts to dry up with baby oil before you go and top up your cotton bud. Keep blending in the same direction as the way that you coloured until you have no white areas. So this is a great opportunity to fill in those white edges that you had when you coloured up to the edge of the paper and you missed a bit. Paused it here so you can see the difference between the blended lily pad and the ones that we are going to do in a minute. You can really see the difference in how smooth it makes the picture and it's great for a finishing touch. So then you want to get a fresh cotton bud and dip it in the baby oil again and start on the fish. So again, working from light to dark in the areas that you need to keep light. So where I did the highlight, I went across the white and blended out to the red. And then I started going on the fins and I tried to really soften those edges where it joins to the water. So it creates a lighter blue section. You can see it starts to disappear slowly into the background rather than it being an obvious blocky foreground. And then repeat this process around the tail and really blend out the colours to the background. And finally finish up by blending out the blue water background. You might want to get a fresh cotton bud again, but you need at least two different ones for this so you keep the green colour separate from the fish. Hopefully you can see the difference between using baby oil and not using baby oil. The kids love learning this technique. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more art lessons like this on a Monday and other art related content every other Thursday. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford!